Virginia and New Jersey are the only two states with elections for governor this November, and much of the national attention among Republicans has focused on Virginia because polls show a tighter race there. That changed today as the chairwoman of the Republican National Committee hit the campaign trail in Burlington County with Jack Cetarelli. News 12 New Jersey's Alex Zidane has the story from Medford. What the hell have you got to lose? Give us a chance. With just two weeks to go before Election Day, Republicans rallied in Medford to get out the vote for legislative candidates and gubernatorial nominee Jack Cittarelli. This does not just happen. It is all of us working from now until Election Day. On Tuesday, Republican National Committee Chair Ronna McDaniel traveled to New Jersey to fundraise and campaign alongside Cittarelli. People's families are being hurt under Phil Murphy, and everyone knows it. And let's not forget about his disastrous record on COVID, where so many people lost loved ones because of a governor who failed them. You talk about Cuomo, Phil Murphy, Murphy is just as bad. The governor has defended his COVID response, including allowing recovering COVID patients to return to nursing homes, and points to a high vaccination rate compared to other states as evidence of his leadership. We can win this race. Do not let anybody stay home because they think we can't win or it's rigged. People don't trust government, rightfully so, with who we got running the freaking national government, a disgrace. Republicans, including State Chair Bob Hugan, say the election will be won or lost based on voter turnout. It's going to be up to each and every one of us to go across the street, go to that neighbor who's sort of a little bit of a jerk, and go to him and say, buddy, we need you this time. In Medford, Alex Adan, News 12, New Jersey. In-person early voting in New Jersey starts this Saturday.